Welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about inner healing. I was asked by uh, somebody who commented on my videos, do I do inner healing? Well, my wife and I do, yes. We're exorcists, we chase devils, but often the devil tears you apart inside, emotionally, mentally, and so on. So inner healing is a necessary part and an accompanying part of deliverance. Now, what is inner healing? The best psalm I know that uh, gets close to this is Psalm 42, written either by David or by Hezekiah. The author is not uh, sure. And this is what he wrote. As the hart or the deer pants and longs for the water brooks, so I pant and long for you, O God. My inner self thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and behold the face of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while men say to me all day long, where is your God? Mocking. See? So when you're in a state that you need inner healing, it's probably because of one of five things. Rejection. Now, people reject you. They don't want anything to do with you. You've hardly got any friends. Your family have rejected you, maybe because of your faith and you feel alone and nobody cares about you. And so rejection is a sad state of being. Abandonment. Now, abandonment, uh, I was abandoned when I was a kid. I was abandoned at six months old. My father left my mother for another woman in the year. So for the war. And, uh, and so uh, I know about abandonment and you've got to get over it. And uh, I've, I've had to face this, the fact that I've been abandoned and I didn't see my father for 60 years. He's now dead, but I went to see him on one occasion. He never even apologized for abandoning me, but we've got to move on. We've got to forgive. All of these things we need to apply forgiveness. I've done a, a teaching on forgiveness and I suggest you Look at it, it's how can I forgive when I still hurt? Humiliation. Maybe you've been humiliated. I was a small kid at school and I remember that one day my biology teacher said to me, Holland, he said you need to put on some muscle. You're getting bullied. You're being humiliated. I said, okay. So I went with him to a gym and I was doing curls and press-ups with weights. I felt great, three hours of workout. I walked home and I said to my mum, I feel great. Problem was in the morning when I woke up, I had to shout for my mother and say, mum, come and help me. I can't get out of bed. I was stiff as a poker. Never mind, that's an, just an amusing story. But I was humiliated, but after that, when I put on some muscle, the people who were humiliated were dealt with. I smacked them one, and that was the end of that. <laughs> so humiliation may be in your background as you've grown up with, with so-called friends who've humiliated you and made you look small. And if that's your case, then you've suffered and you need healing. Fourthly, betrayal. Have you been betrayed? I have also been betrayed. My uh, ex-wife betrayed me and um, had, a, had another man on the side and uh, my wife was betrayed by her ex-husband. Thank God we found each other 27 years of marriage this uh, coming December. And uh, we've been betrayed. We know what it's like. Jesus suffered betrayal from Judas. And I think in any growth of character, there is a time when we get betrayed because we've got to get over it. We've got to learn to put on some uh, thick skin and say, okay, they betrayed me, but when they betrayed me or when my father left me, the Lord picked me up and he took care of me and that's the way it is. And injustice, if you suffered injustice, things are just not right. People have treated you wrongly and uh, you, your situation, you've got a situation at home maybe that uh, it's just not right, it's just not fair on you. Now, I was praying for a, um, a family I know, and in the night, last night, my wife 
and I were asleep, but uh, the Lord woke me up, but she was still sleeping. And the Lord said to me, take it to court. Take this situation to court. It's unjust. You need justice. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the uh, situation of that family and other families who come to me for help. I'm going to take them to court and go to the heavenly court and speak to the Lord about them and get, get a, an indictment or a decree from that court. Now, if you don't know about that, then uh, uh, I have got some videos on the court of heaven where it is. I might go further with this on another video. I don't know. I have to let the Lord lead me. Now, if you need inner healing, you will have developed some strongholds in the way you think. And I think there are about uh, five strongholds. Strongholds are the way you think. Fear. Your, your, the way you think is, is just around a circuit of fear or anger. Anger could be the stronghold. Rejection. Depression. Being the victim of abuse. You just feel like you're a victim. And self-hatred. Now, all those things, fear, anger, rejection, depression, victim of abuse and self-hatred, those form a system of thoughts like a CD that goes on in your head. Because when you are wounded, that gives the devil the opportunity to enter. It's an open door. A wound is an open door. It's a trauma. And traumas allow the devil to get in. And uh, that's what we deal with as well. It's like an, an unheard crying, you're crying inside and you don't know how to get out of it. Well, if you like that, then please do contact us and uh, we'll help you. We know what to do. We know how to get you out of this prison. So thanks for watching today. Bear in mind what I've said. Have a look at these uh, inner healing possibilities where you've been wounded. Some of the strongholds of thinking that you may have slipped into and will help you to get free. Okay? God bless you. See you soon.